What's up guys, it's Chase from Chase's Workshop and in this video we're going to build an arbor press to put our pickups together with. Now before I built this thing, I used to just pound these things in with a hammer and that got really old, so I decided I would build one of these guys. Now I built this thing out of just a bunch of scrap wood and scrap aluminum and parts like that I had lying around the shop. And if you're anything like me, you probably got those pieces in your shop now too. And with this coronavirus going on, hey, it might be the best time to build one. So guys, I'm going to show you how I built this thing. Like I said, very easy to build, very cheap. And then we're going to put it together and I'm going to show you how well it works toward the end of the video. So guys, if you have any questions or comments about anything, leave them below. If you like the video, give me a like. And if you like it, Please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically going to build a arbor press for these pickups. And all I'm going to do is just be able to press these magnets into these holes here. Now, you can beat them in with a hammer, but um, I think pressing them is probably the ideal uh, way to do it. And what I've, the idea I've got here is I've got basically three pieces of half-inch plywood that I'm going to laminate together. And I... I did the grain, I did grain going this way on one, grain going this way on the other, and grain going that way on this one. So I think it'll be plenty strong enough. Not to mention that plywood's strong this way anyways. Now here's my ideas on it. Now what I'm thinking about, what I'm gonna do is, is this center one right here, I'm going to split it. Maybe about right in here somewhere. So I'll have two pieces, and then this will be able to lay in there. So basically I'll have this when I own my glue up. I'll have a piece here, and a piece here, then I'll have a top piece. And I should be able to, with these being pretty much close, I might have to work it out a little bit. I should be able to um, make that work. So that'll basically be it right there on that. And then all I got to do is just come here and cut this out to allow this to come, uh, to be allowed to be able to put my pickup in there when I'm pressing it. So there you go. Now, uh, two, this rod is pretty close to the right diameter. It's a little, it's just a hair off. I think I might, when I glue up, I might, it might be fine though. But I'm going to try to glue it up just like that. And then I know this part here is straight. And then all I got to do is figure out a way to add a lever right here to where I can, when I press, this will go down. Like that. So anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this middle piece. And I'll come back in here and show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. Okay, so now you can basically see I pretty much split this guy here. And um, I made this piece right here right at an inch and a quarter. It's a little bit over it, but it's close enough. And I think it's going to give me enough room to where when I put my pickup down here, I have enough room to work and um, still keep enough meat back here to make this thing at least um, somewhat sturdy. Now, here's my idea on it. I'm basically going to glue all this stuff up like this. Glue this piece like this here. And I'm going to put this piece in the center of it. And then I'm going to glue this piece back here. And then I'm going to glue the top on top like so. And like I said, the, uh, the actual rod is just a little bit bigger. But I think once I, if I put enough clamping first, first force on there, I think it'll, it'll be all right. And then I'm basically going to pull this guy out, glue it up, and let it sit. And then I'll have a hole that should accept this guy here. And then once I get that done, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut out uh, a center here to where you can slide it in there. And then i got to figure out how to make a lever, some type of lever up here to um, to press this guy in. Okay, so I basically got this guy here and I decided just to glue this first piece on at the beginning. And the reason why is, is because if I go ahead and put this in here and then glue my next piece on top of it and sandwich this down, um, I have a little bit of difference in thickness between this rod and this wood. This this rod's a little bit thicker than this wood. So my plan of action now is, is to take this guy, once this sets up, I'm going to wrap it in some... I'm going to wrap this in some uh, sandpaper. I'm going to use it as a tool to sand this face down to where I can get rid of that uh, difference in thickness. And then once that's done, I'll take and glue, sandwich this piece up there as tight as I can get it, and then glue the top on. And then this piece should only be able to move up and down at that point. It should have no side-to-side -side play. And then once we cut it, I only have about this much actually in the machine um, and I'll probably cut it there to where this can press down uh, that whole gap. You can kind of tell how it's kind of working out now. Okay, so I've got this part here done now. And as you can tell, I've got, I have sanded a groove into it. So what all I did was I took this and I put some sandpaper around it. And then I took it and just ran it back and forth here. And I kept trying it until it was close enough to where it was tight. But it, this could still freely move and not have a lot of uh, play in it. Still got a little bit, but it's it is what it is. Now I try to get rid of a lot of that when I glue it up. I want to basically take this piece here, 
glue it on as tight to that as I can. I might put a piece of paper or something here just to give it some room. And then when I get done with that, I'll glue this top piece on. So here's where I'm at now. I basically this piece on here. I mean, all I did was is I set in here. I put the rod in. Um, after I used the sandpaper and got it down to where it's the right thickness, I uh, took a piece of paper and stuck it in here to allow some uh, relief when I pull this guy out. And I basically just put some clamping pressure this way to make it to where this guy would uh, pull tight up against this and then glue this guy down. Now this this is the, probably the most important part of the strength. So I really made sure that I put enough glue on here. I had a lot of squeeze out to make sure that um, this part's going to stay together and um, be, be very strong. Now the next process I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this rod out and I'm going to place the top plate on here to where we have everything done and all I got to do is cut this guy out. Build some stuff there. Now, I even thought about putting on the bottom down here uh, making a plate to where I can put some quarter inch aluminum or something for a, a nice hard surface to uh, set the pickup bobbins on when we're pressing them. Uh, the next process too after that is going to be figuring out the lever system up here. I hadn't really figured that out yet and then also probably just as important as that is is the base for this thing to where when you're putting enough downward pressure on this guy you're not uh, this thing's not flying around or something. I'm going to have to figure out a way to mount this to something to mount it to something else to where you can use this thing pretty efficiently. So anyways guys that's where we're at right now um, until the next part. Okay, so I went ahead and I, I put the um, top piece on. So now we've got it on here, and I went ahead and cut this guy out. And this guy's cut out to two and a half inches deep and two inches tall. Now, um, once I got that cut out, I uh, basically rough cut it with my bandsaw, and then I went back with my table saw and just used the fence right here and mm -hmm. tried to get a much of a flat surface as I could on this side. And then, you know, of course, I couldn't go all the way because... If I did, it would cut all the way into here on my table saw. And I thought about standing it up and running it too. But to be honest with you, it scared the crap out of me. So I held off on that. And I might, I might try to make a jig or something to where I can put this guy up against the fence and run it straight right here to get a perfectly straight cut right there. Because my next uh, item of business on this thing is, is to mount a piece of aluminum down here on the bottom to where I have a hard, flat surface uh, on the bottom. To where when the pin goes through. Now with the pin, I took a piece of that shaft that I had and I cut it. This is cut three and a quarter inches. Basically put it in my lathe and I flattened both sides of it. And then I drilled a hole here to accept a uh, three sixteenths inch uh, nut or screw. My idea with this is, is basically when this guy's in here, the shaft will have a hole in it to where um, when I pull up on it, it grabs this top of the screw. When I want to press it, the shaft comes down, presses, and then I have the screw. And the reason I'm wanting to do a uh, the little bit of play there is, is because when I put the flat work in here and I set my magnet on there, I want some weight to kind of sit. I think having a little weight to where it kind of holds it in place before I press is a good idea. Okay, so as you can see right here, I've kind of got a, a few things, other things done. on. I want to show you right quick how I made this uh, lever. And basically this is all it is. I took this guy, I drilled a hole in here, and to spot that, I just put it on here, saw where my hole was, and uh, spotted a hole here to where I have enough length back here to make this thing work. Well then I took it, uh, drilled it out here with a quarter inch bit, I believe it was, and then I took some chisels and chiseled an angle up to this point here. So that, uh, and the reason I did that was is because when this screw is in here I need it to be able to do this like that and then once I got all that done I took the screw and my shaft that I built I put it on here and like I said I left, I left some play in this too so I've got you know enough room here for this thing to swing and to do that um, I put it in my part here and then I just lined it up with this hose and then drilled that out This back piece here is just some angle iron that I had, or some angle aluminum that I had at the, uh, laying around in the shop. Um, and the best thing to do is just leave this a little loose. Um, if you make it hard, this part doesn't want to work right. Um, so there's that. Now, um, what I'm going to probably do is come back here and put a, maybe a lock nut or something here to lock these guys down where this thing can still move a little bit like that. But as far as everything else, all I did down here was I just cut that piece of aluminum out. Um, and then just set it on there and to flatten this bottom 
actually use this piece of sandpaper that's on this piece of plywood just to get a flat surface and it, it flattened it good enough there for uh, from what I'm trying to do and then of course I just drilled a hole and put a screw in there to where it would work now this thing's going to sit in there like that um, I'm going to try to get it uh, to where it face, faces towards me and then you can press down um, when you're building the pickups so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to mount it to a piece of wood or of some type to where um, I can basically bolt this thing down to my table here to where I'm making pickups so I can just uh, bolt it on and, and, and work away. Okay so here it is finished now. Um, all I've done is, is I just basically took this guy and glued it down to this piece of MDF board and put some screws in from the bottom and uh, this board's actually about is right at eight inches wide. It actually is exactly eight inches wide. Now, um, I've already put a couple in here, and this thing works really well. Um, so my, I want to show you here. So I'm going to take one of these mags. I'm probably, my, I might even, I don't know if you can see it or not. I might, I'm going to take this thing off of here and see if I can't maybe mount this right here to where I can just put a magnet up to it real quick and see where it's at. Now, these, these magnets that I've got are real weak. They're not very weak, uh, strong at all. So it doesn't really matter uh, which way I put them in. Now I'm going to... Set one on here, kind of try to align it, drop that down to where I can align it pretty good. Make sure it's straight. And press it in. Worked really well. Put the next one in here. I kind of like having the weight of that sitting down on top of that instead of having a spring or this thing because it helps me where I can align it and keep it pretty straight. There's that one. And for the last one. We're gonna do the top. So let's see how this works. I'm gonna start right there. It's a lot better than trying to beat these things together. So there you go. There's the, the finished product. I think it turned out really well. It works a lot better, like I said, than trying to beat these things in. Um, I don't know if I went over this or not, but I basically just cut this part here and this part here to where um, I can see in there better uh, before it came way out here and it blocked the view of my shaft coming down. Uh, that's why I cut that out. And I didn't really measure that or anything. I just basically took my bandsaw and cut an angle here to about where this part is and then just cut the rest of this off so that um, you could you could just just for visual just so you could see better well all right guys that's about it for this video as you can tell here um this thing works really well and it's a heck of a lot better than trying to beat these things in with a hammer um this pickup here is going to go into my ibanez that i've got um i'm going to try to size it to fit in there real well and um you know do the windings and all that stuff on it in a upcoming video now i've also got some parts to make some humbuckers so hopefully we'll get to start doing that here pretty soon and um, maybe we, we can go through that and um, experiment with building those. And then I want to take those and put them into the uh, Les Paul that I've got that's got the broken headstock. And um, that way we can get the sound of them and everything else. Now, you saw my last video where I had the uh, real hum bad hum in my amp. I've actually ordered some stuff to build me something to try and help alleviate that. And hopefully I can get a lot better sound out of it after that point but anyways guys if you have any questions or comments about any of this stuff as always leave them below if you like the video give me a like and if you like it please subscribe thanks for watching guys